Hey there, my name is Austin and I'm with Olivia today. Thank you for joining us today for Stretch and Restore. And today we're gonna to work, do a little floor routine here. Always talk to your doctor before starting any exercise routine. Let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to meet me on the floor here on your mat. Highly recommend you have one today because we'll be doing a lot of floor work. So what we're gonna do for our warm up because we wanna do constant dynamic stretching is we're gonna take our left arm, gonna shoot it underneath us as far as we can reach here, then reach all the way back up, and that's one, two, give me eight more, three, four, five, six, there we go, seven, Eight, nine, ten. All right, go ahead and switch sides. I'm going to readjust my mat a little bit here, so hopefully you can get a better look. All right. One. It's okay if you only can stretch this far. If you can, try stretch a little bit farther. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, shake it out. Shake it out. Now we're going to go into a wrist stretch here. If you need to, go ahead and get a drink of water like I am here. do some wrist stretches. So, as I've talked about before, when we're sitting in front of a computer, hit, hitting that keyboard all the time, it's very easy for our wrists to get really tight. So, we're gonna do a couple stretches to help loosen those up. First one, go ahead and face your hands this way, put them on the ground, and slowly put a little weight in there. Weight into your wrists. You're gonna feel that stretch right on top of them. Take it nice and easy on those wrists. You don't want to hurt them, you just want to stretch them. You want to just make sure they know you care about them. It's not about hurting them. As that stretch gets easier and easier, go ahead and put a little more pressure in there. Try to get a little bit further and deeper of a stretch. stretch on the opposite end of your wrists and you're just going to put pressure into your fingers or into your palms until you feel that stretch so the weight should be in the palms not in the fingers I misspoke earlier please don't put your weight into your fingers that's how you'll snap them you just want to put the weight into the palm stretch a little bit further get a little deeper into that stretch and that's where you're gonna feel it right Right palm side on your wrist. Take deep breaths. And again, you just want to go till you feel the stretch. You don't want to punish yourself. You want to heal yourself. This is the time to relax. This is your rest day. This is your restor restoration day. This is how you thank your body for a job well done. It's with a little rest and relaxation on these active rest days. If you need 
need to. Take a little pressure off the wrists and go back in. Slowly come back off the wrists. And roll them out. Good. Feel that looseness in your wrists now? That's how we want them to feel. Get them nice and loosened up, get them ready for the next day's good work at the keyboard. thing we're going to do is child's pose. So what that requires is that we put our hands out front as far as we can go. Booties touching the ground if you can. Don't necessarily have to. Your legs can be like this sideways and you want your arms reaching as far as they can out. And you want to then press your forearms into the mat. Is nice, get a nice stretch on the top of your back there. That's what we're aiming for. Push a little deeper. Get that big stretch in there. And those delts as much as you can, those upper lats and those delts. Slowly come back up. Now we're going to do a cat cow. So face sideways so you can see that a little bit better. I'll pick up my water bottle. As it fell over, I kicked it over. Now we're going to make our cat. Back her back. Then our cow. So we're going to be here for a little bit, so take your time, try to get nice deep stretches here. So I'll try to make as tall as a cat as possible, as low as a cow as possible. Shake it out a little bit. 
stay in this position here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do fire hydrants next. Get out, stretch out those hips a little bit more. All right, so fire hydrants. What we're gonna do, get our spine in a neutral position here. Lift our leg as high as possible, then rotate backwards. Then we're gonna do the other side. Lift it as high as possible, rotate backwards. And that's one each side. I want you to do 10 each side. So nine more each leg. And you don't have to switch back and forth between legs. If it's more comfortable, you can do nine one leg and nine the other. I'm gonna let you go ahead and decide which one is more comfortable, switching back and forth or doing one leg at a time. Switch legs, switch sides if you haven't, or we'll keep switching back and forth if that's what you're doing. <sighs> Try to get as big as an opening as possible. stretched out along with our wrists. We're going to go ahead, lift our butt up like this. So I'll come back to the side so you can see it. We're going to lift up like that, put our weight into our calves, and we're going to do a runner's thing. So we're going to go back and forth with our wrists, with our calves. Sorry about that. I misspoke. So back and forth like that, putting the weight in our calves, back and forth. A little bit of a runner's pose here. Getting a nice stretch in our calves. We're gonna do this for a little bit here. So get comfy. Take your time with each calf raise here. Try to keep, try to keep a good stretch on each one. Try to get a little bit further each time. If you can, try to touch your heel to the ground. I can't quite do that yet, and that's okay. Just trying to get as good as a stretch as possible. All right. I'm gonna have you stop. Go ahead and put your right foot in between your hands here. What you're gonna do is now place your knee on the ground and you're gonna lay into that here. Get a little bit further. What that's gonna do here is give you a nice stretch in the back of your leg, in your hamstring and in your bum get you a nice stretch in the back of your legs. Hmm. Not only does this stretch the bum in the back of your hamstring there, it also stretches the middle of your groin area there. Just by putting pressure on it, it gives it a nice stretch. Sink a little deeper. All right, 
slowly place your hands on top of the mat there. If you're that far down, go ahead and take the weight off the knee. Place it back between your legs. Shoot it back towards your other foot. Bring the other foot between your hands there. And go ahead, rest it down. Ah, back in the day we would call these Spider-Mans because they looked like they were crawling up the wall like Spider-Man in the one position here. It's a great stretch though, holy crud. And as he gets looser and looser, don't be afraid again to sink into that stretch. That's actually what we're aiming for. Is so you have the ability to do that. see that this side's a lot, lot tighter for me than my left side typically is. So I need to work on getting that looser. So as it gets looser, I'm going to sink more and more in. Slowly come back up. Mm. Leg between your arms. Go ahead and shoot it back. Now we're going to come back up here, nice and slow, inchworming our way back up to our hands. And come up nice and slow. Fantastic. Now we're going to move into our standing portion of the workout here. It's just a little bit here, a little bit longer, and then we're done for the day. First one we're going to do is standing snow angels, or wall angels as you'll hear people use them as, because we're going to use the wall. What, what you want to do is make sure that your back's against the wall at all times. As you do the exercise, you want, it doesn't matter how close the arms are to, your, to the wall, as long as you're going to keep the back on the wall. So we want to keep arms as close to the wall as possible while keeping the back against the wall. Bring your arms all the way up and all the way down. All the way up, all the way down. This is a great posture exercise here. This is why I want one of the finishing things that we do today is to be, uh, is the wall angels. So go ahead and do two, do eight more. I want a total of 10. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Oof, felt that one. <laughs> My back was tight today. Mm. Last one. Gonna be for our arms here. And just, well, for our upper body is what I should say. So what we're gonna do, take our one arm behind our back, reach as far as you can without bending your head forward. So that's here, that's what it is. Take your other arm and try to stretch it a little bit further. And again, you don't want your Head to be down all the way here. Defeats the purpose of that stretch. So you want your head up. Don't want to be down here. You want it up. Get a nice big stretch in the back of your arm.
All right, slowly come on down. Swing it out. And we'll go ahead and switch our arms here. So take your left arm up, put it behind your head as much as possible without bending your neck forward. And take your arm and push it a little bit further. Again, we don't want our head down. It defeats the purpose of that stretch. So try to keep your chin up. You should feel it in the back of your arm, right about here. That's the main goal. And in the shoulder. Again, my name is Austin with Livia here today. Thank you for joining me and thanks for joining us on the Livia Fitness Team. It's great being with you guys. It's great teaching such a wonderful team here. Again, my name is Austin. If you have any questions, please contact us at fitnessatlivia.com. We look forward to hearing from you and have a great day.